Hey guys and welcome to the review by Steve Chaz. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the Engel Series 2 Smart Battery Box which is um, here in my boot. One of the biggest challenges photographers uh, campers have is having power on the go. Um, in years past we used to use the 12 volt outlets in the back of our car but that requires your car running all the time. So the Engel Smart Battery Box is a great solution for having power whenever you need it, wherever you need it. So what it essentially is, is uh, a uh, battery charging and maintenance system. And inside uh, it contains a 130 amp hour battery. You can choose different size batteries. Uh, I use a 130 amp hour because it's a nice large size. It's an AGM battery, so it's the same type of battery that you'd use in your caravan. So basically how this unit works is it can be charged in three ways. Uh, you can have it trickle charging through your car's uh, 12 volt outlet in your boot and it will pump in around 62 watts while, it's, uh, while your car's running. You can charge it via solar, which is what I've got at, um, uh, shown here today, uh, through an Anderson plug. So the solar panel has its own regulator. You must have a regulator on your solar panel. And that's pumping in generally around 82 watts on a good sunny day. Today is not a sunny day, so I'm putting in about 20 watts at the moment, which isn't too bad. Um, you can also charge it via 240 volt on the side here and um, that will put in about 92 watts. So just putting all those watts into perspective, my camping fridge, which is a uh, Waco CFX 28, uh, when it's uh, cycling, when the compressor's on, uh, it will use about 55 watts. So just thinking on a sunny day, 82 watts solar going in, 55 watts going out, not all the time, just when the compressor's going. So you can imagine that you go for quite a long time, many, many days, if you had some good sun um, and just had your fridge uh, running on the, on the unit. Now I've actually tested my fridge on this unit for five days. Um, so I started at 100% battery power and uh, in five days I was down to 40%. Um, and that's with nothing in the fridge, so that's the fridge running at its, at its worst really. Um, not very an economical way to run your fridge empty, but um, that's um, how I chose to do it. Now, where you can plug into uh, to get your power, um, there's uh, two ways that you can charge your devices. Uh, so, uh, this the Engel uh, power hub here uh, has 112 volt outlet. And it has an Engel plug here as well. So if you have an Engel fridge, that's a dedicated plug, a plug for your Engel products. Um, my favourite part of this, though, is on the side here. And you have a normal 240 volt um, inlet. Uh, and this is made possible through the use of a 300 watt inverter. So when I'm charging my phone batteries, my camera batteries, uh, I'll always do it through there because it's a lot quicker. Uh, it's the same, um, it, it takes the same time to charge your, uh, your batteries as it would at home. Uh, it does use a little bit more power, between 6 to 8% more power taken out of your battery because you're also running an inverter as well as drawing power out to your device. But that's negligible when you've got a 130 amp hour battery. What I love too is the display. So the display will tell you what charge you're on. How many watts, for example, if I'm plugged in and charging, how many watts are going in? But it will also tell you how many watts are going out at a, any given time. So you can see how much um, each um, charging item or appliance that you've got plugged in uh, is actually using. Uh, the other very helpful feature that it has uh, is that it will tell you uh, the actual volts that your battery is at. Uh, now that's a really important thing because with um, AGM batteries you really need to take care of their, um, their float cycle and their health. Uh, if you get those batteries too low, uh, they can be damaged beyond recovery. So what the angle does, uh, it uh, gives you a warning when your battery gets down to 11 volts. That's telling you it's getting low and it's time to recharge it. If you continue to draw power from the battery at 10.5 volts, it will shut down. It will not give you any more power. And that's a really good protection mechanism because you can uh, trust that uh, your battery won't go below, below um, a, 
a point where it will be damaged permanently. So that's a, a really great mechanism. Now to charge from say 40% uh, to uh, full for my 130 amp hour battery uh, at home on 240 volt takes about eight to nine hours. So you can do it overnight, but I always keep mine floated. And that's the other good thing about the um, unit is the charging system inside just floats the battery. So it pumps in power as it needs to, and then it just eases back and just keeps the battery floated at a good level, which is um, a perfect way to, um, to look after your AGM battery. If you've got a caravan, you know that you've got to keep your AGM battery floated in your van. Well, it's exactly the same thing here. So I've matched it up with um, 200 watt Max Ray solar panels. They've got a great little regular later on them. Um, it's an MPPT regulator. So that tends to grab a little bit more um, juice out of the sun on overcast days like today. A PWM uh, regulator won't be as great on cloudy days. So that's why I choose that type of regulator. But if you need power on the go, guys, whether you're a camper or a photographer, um, this is a great unit. Uh, so the unit itself, uh, I bought for around $379. The battery was another $400. So uh, you can just keep going. Uh, so for example, uh, being a photographer, I fly a drone a lot. I've got five drone batteries. Uh, once I'm used the 30 minutes on each drone battery, I can put it on charge and basically I can go all day, all weekend, uh, on a long extended trip um, without having to uh, plug into 240 volt um, at home. This is a great little unit. If you need power on the go, I thoroughly recommend it. If you like this review, uh, hit like, leave a comment, or even better, subscribe. Thanks for watching the review by Steve Chaz.